Okay, before we get cracking, I just want to address that my voice sounds a bit off. I started to lose my voice yesterday on stream, it was quite funny. But you know what, I think there's something worth talking about here today, so I'm straining my voice even further to bring you a discussion, if you will, about Ubisoft's AAA titles for this fiscal year, which is April 2019 to March 2020, as they have confirmed that they will be releasing four AAA titles. And as it stands currently, all we know about is Ghost Recon don't care, so what's the point? Sorry, Breakpoint. Breakpoint is what it's called. And we also know that of the three unannounced titles, none of them are going to be Assassin's Creed, as Assassin's Creed is not going to get a release in 2019. At least not a AAA release. I'm sure they'll probably announce like a mobile game or something silly. So, so far we've got three unannounced AAA titles from Ubisoft coming this year that we don't actually know what they are. Now, does Just Dance count? I'm going to assume not. And of the upcoming games, Skull and Bones, for example, their pirate game, that's been delayed to beyond March 2020, which means that that's not coming out in this fiscal year. So essentially, we've got three mystery games that will be released before March 2020, which means that they will likely all be announced at E3. I personally am of the belief that releasing four AAA games in a year is three too many. However, I do find myself wondering, is one of these unannounced games Watch Dogs 3? Now, I wouldn't put money on it, or I wouldn't eat my hat if it turns out is not happening, but at the same time, I can definitely buy into the concept of Watch Dogs 3 being announced at E3 and releasing before March 2020. As there have been rumours and leaks from people like Jason Schreier of Kotaku stating that Watch Dogs 3 is going to London and things, which means that they must have had some form of insight, which means the game is closing in on finished. Also, Ubisoft have opened a new Twitter account called Watch Dogs UK, which was set up this month, which makes me think that they're gearing up to do something with the Watch Dogs franchise. And it also says official Watch Dogs UK account. Follow us for all the latest news, trailers, and info. Instagram at watchdogsgame underscore UK. And the Instagram page has been around for a while, but they're setting up of a Twitter account saying for all the new trailers and info, even though the game has been out for a while, Watch Dogs 2, means that either they've just made a redundant Twitter that's going to sit there for a few years, or there's going to be an announcement soon. So like I said, I can definitely believe that at E3 2019, one of the three mystery AAA titles that Ubisoft are going to release before March 2020 will be Watch Dogs 3. But at the same rate, we're talking about Ubisoft here and they could literally do anything. A Twitter account doesn't mean very much. It's not conclusive evidence, but it supports the theory that a Watch Dogs 3 announcement will come soon. Who knows, it might not even be called Watch Dogs 3, it might be Watch Dogs some weird subtitle like Watch Dogs in it bruv. <clears throat> Watch Dogs batty grease. Also, I do believe a lot of Ubisoft star players attending E3 this year are from the Watch Dogs community as well. Correct me if I'm wrong there, as I've only heard it a few times, I'm not actually sure if that's a confirmed fact. But if that is the case, it would appear as if Ubisoft are properly gearing up to announce a Watch Dogs related thing at the very least at E3. But you know what, you let me know what you think about that one down in the comments section. As for the other unannounced titles, I have no idea what's going on with that. Apparently there will be another Splinter Cell that will be made, but I don't think that that's going to be anytime soon and definitely won't be in this fiscal year. Again, it's not really something that I've paid too much attention to. All I really care about from Ubisoft this year is finding out more about Watch Dogs 3 to see if they can actually save this franchise. As I really did enjoy Watch Dogs 1 and I wasn't a fan of Watch Dogs 2, but I do believe that Watch Dogs potential has not really been properly tapped into yet. Well, fingers crossed. Anyways, thank you all for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to go ahead, leave a like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. I'm making gestures with my hands even though you can't even see me. And I will see you all very soon with another video at some point.